One of the most exciting products that we have for warehouse people is our end rider truck. These you see a lot, uh, very common in warehousing. Uh, they work alongside the reach trucks or stand-ups. It's very common. Uh, many uh, customers unload uh, tractor trailers with these, with these products or they're just transporting, transporting loads from the docks to, uh, to where the reach trucks put away the product. So very excited about this product. This is actually built, uh, Dusan has a manufacturing facility in Germany and this product comes from Germany. So those uh, German engineers there worked alongside our engineers to build uh, what we believe is one of the strongest uh, end rider pallet trucks out on the market today. It's hard to demonstrate for you on camera just how strong uh, these frames are. But I can tell you, when you get a chance to actually see one, touch one, you, you will be amazed by how strong this is. Let's go over the, the truck a little bit. It comes in a 6,000 pound single length capacity, right? So you have uh, uh, 48 inch of 60 inch forks. Uh, we can go all the way up to 96 inch forks on the 8,000 pound truck, which is your double pallet handler. And of course that actually also has uh, what's called extended tips, which gives you, it's important because when you're going into that second pallet, that gives you second pallet first entry position, right? So that, that doesn't have to climb over that center runner of the second pallet when you're uh, carrying two loads. And that's very important. The trucks come with uh, pallet exit and entry rollers, which um, a lot of people say they have that and they got a good system. But what's nice about this truck is, and it's been proven already, empty pallets, right? You can get in and out of an empty pallet without scooching it across the floor. So this truck does an excellent job going in and out of empty pallets. You can see uh, this heavy duty uh, polymer cover that we have here, which has a shin guard on it or a pad, shin pad on it. Uh, it's on both sides because you can obviously stand on either side to operate this truck. Um, when you're using one of these trucks and when you're going over dock plates, it's, it's nice to have something to cushion the shock, right? Because you can't have suspension on this truck. There's no way to put suspension other than what you're actually standing on. So what we did is we have this oil resistant, very thick um, foam type um, floor, floorboard on it. And it's got a, a real grippy surface on it. So it's very comfortable to stand on. It's one of the things that you'll notice right away uh, when you go to stand on this truck. The platform's very large. You can see I can stand on it easily and keep my feet within the confines of the frame. Uh, very large platform, very comfortable to stand on. And that's where these shin, shin pads come in. When you're driving this truck, because uh, frankly, if you hit this turtle button, this thing really takes off. It flies. But it gives you an opportunity, right? You, you have your handle you're hanging on to. You have this nice padded uh, front handle to hold on to. And you can also lean your side of your leg and your shin right into that padded cover so that you feel very sturdy when you're driving the truck. Very comfortable. So, of course, uh, not exclusive to Doosan. Raise and lower of the forks are built right into the, the controls. Uh, for, uh, for the front handle. Rear handle, right, you rotate, forward, reverse. Uh, you, if you prefer, you can stick your thumb in the slot and roll it. And then you also have your raise and lower functions uh, on the handle too. This red button is called a reverser or emergency stop switch. And that is if you're using this as a walkie and you're walking behind the truck what, and, and you accidentally pin yourself against, you start to pin yourself against something, this uh, button will hit on your belly and literally shoot the truck back forward. It doesn't just stop it, 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 it actually reverses the truck. That's hence the, hence the term reverser. 
uh, we started up the truck and I had to, uh, you know, set the brake in order for it to, uh, so you can see if, I, if, I, if I'm going in reverse, see that? See how it just shoots back forward to protect the operator. So this truck uh, also has coast control. So we'll uh, demonstrate that for you here in a moment. So I wanna show you something uh, as far as maintenance wise that's uh, important for you to know about our forks. One of the important things when you're considering purchasing a uh, uh, end rider or a pallet jack is how the mechanism works to raise and lower the forks. Uh, by far, the best way is to have a pull bar, a pull bar system where the bar that runs up the inside of the fork pocket, there's a hydraulic cylinder in there that pulls the bar this way, which pushes down on the load wheels and raises the forks up. So our system is a pull bar. Some are push bars, but what happens is, if you can imagine a, a bar and you're trying to push it, it, it can bow. But if you're pulling it, it always stays straight. It, and the other thing is, our bar is a huge uh, tube that is not hollow, it's a solid tube. So very, very strong. I wanted to show you this, uh, a couple of things. One is the adjustments for the pull bars. As you can see, we have cutouts in here so you can get to the adjuster nuts so you can make sure the, the forks are always level and you can adjust uh, the forks on here without jacking this truck up and doing it from underneath. Huge time saver uh, with that's normal maintenance when you're doing PMs is, is to adjust the fork. So it, making that very easy makes it less expensive to own. And if, if you notice the pivot points for the load wheels are up high. And uh, wh why is that important for a customer? Well, I've seen it um, before. I, I was an ex-technician. When the pivot points are down low, uh, which is common to use with a push bar system. When you're going over dock plates, getting into a trailer, your forks are always lowered, right? So when the wheel especially starts to wear down, that bottom of this fork where it sticks down will start to uh, make contact with the dock plate and it'll wear through. I've actually seen on competitors' trucks where the dock plates eventually wore through the fork into the pin mount and then the, the truck was rendered useless because it was unsafe to use. So keeping that pivot point up high, uh, make sure that there's absolutely no way you would ever wear through uh, the fork and damage the pin mounting area. I wanted to show you uh, here before we end our video, uh, one of our extended tip double pallet handlers. 8,000 pound capacity. As you can see, this is the extended tip. So the load wheels are here, uh, way back from the end of the tip. So the theory being, you drive through your first pallet, it sits there, and then you drive into the second pallet, it drops over the first opening, and then, it, and then uh, you pick up your pallet, the pallet come out to the end. The other thing is, this truck does have the uh, uh, load backrest and how easy it is to get access to the battery, uh, you simply flip up the locks and the load backrest can flip down so you have access to the battery. So very simple design, um, easy to use. Uh, again, lowering cost of ownership when you, when you need to do some type of maintenance, you make it easy to get to uh, the things you're trying to do maintenance on. So I promised you I was gonna show you how coast control works and it's a really, uh, excellent feature for uh, people who are running down the aisle, picking off the floor and building loads. So the theory being, uh, you activate coast control right here. And our, our, when you activate coast control on our truck, the handle stays down into the uh, walk alongside position. And it stays down electronically. You don't have a little rubber bumper or some uh, very flimsy device that you have to flip under the handle in order to hold it down. It stays in position uh, on its own electronically 
you have on either side, so you can walk on either side of the aisle to pick. Um, you have on the inside of the handle uh, a trigger that uh, when you put it in, the truck operates at a, a brisk walk. And the theory being, and what I'm gonna show you, the theory being um, that cone acts as a pick position. I wanna take that, pick up that product, and I wanna put it on the pallet uh, behind me. So the theory being is I'm gonna walk along till I get to that pallet, let go of the truck, it will continue traveling and stop with the pallet right behind me so I can pick my load, turn around and put it on the truck. So let's demonstrate that for you. I have it activated in coast control. So I pull the trigger, pick up the load, turn around, set it on the forks. And then if I want to continue, I just come back and, and grab it and go to the next pick, pick position. When it's done, and I'm, I'm finished with coast control. I push the button, the handle returns to its normal position, and I can operate the truck as I walk behind or get on the truck and ride it. So there you have it. That's our BER, our end rider truck that can be both used as a ride on or a walk behind truck.